case uh, four. A 45-year-old man with a slowly growing thumb nodule, the clinical impression was cyst. Now, I don't know about in France, but in my practice, everything comes in as rule out cyst or rule out lipoma. It's always a cyst or a lipoma until it's not a cyst or a lipoma, until it's some rare sweat gland tumor or sarcoma or any other thing. And so this is a crucial point, maybe not so much for pathologists who already get this, but for our clinical colleagues, or if you teach medical students, I always hammered on this point to my med students, everything that is a nodule in the deep dermis or subcutis, it doesn't matter what it's made of. If it's a nodule down deep, it will look like a skin-colored lump, bump, nodule, papule that will look identical to a cyst or a lipoma because those are very common and usually a skin colored lump or bump is a cyst or a lipoma, mm -hmm. statistically speaking. But every once in a while it's something else and I've seen many patients, um, I, I, I volunteer in some rare cancer patient groups on Facebook uh, like dermatofibrosarcoma protuberans and angiosarcoma and some of those groups, particularly dermatofibrosarcoma protuberans, many of those patients were misdiagnosed for years as just having a cyst, don't worry about it. And then finally someone did a biopsy once it starts you know, fungating out of the skin. And of course it was sarcoma. So I, um, I think it's important for our colleagues to know the only way to really know something's a cyst is to biopsy or excise it and let us take a look microscopically. So, so I, that's kind of a, a point that I feel very deeply about.